Oh, our roadies walking to the road trip. Oh, hi. Roadies? Lisa's a little out of breath. A little bit. What did you do, Elise? I just, well, this morning, I did just over a mile, I think 1.12. Mm-hmm. And just now, did a new route, because I really wasn't overly crazy about the route I went yesterday. Mm -hmm. Did 5.65, or no, 6.7, 6, 6.7 miles. So collectively today, I did more than the 10K. Look at that, look at that. I'm going to tell you, though, wow, I am spent. My legs and feet feel amazing, though. Yeah, my legs are a little sorted. Okay, let me, let me explain what's been going on lately, roadies. And then we'll discuss what happened today. Actually, last night. So, lately, I have been... What is the word I'm looking for? My mojo had went missing. Um, I don't know. I just... It, it got on my nerves that I have screwed around this year, basically. And really haven't done much. And then now we're going to go back to VidCon with not a big result. And it had totally messed with my mind mentally. Like, part of me was just like, I mean, I'm so close to VidCon now. Honestly, like, why even bother? Right? So, last night, after Lisa come back from her run and we did our vlog and um, I was going to spin uh, Lisa, or Val come to me and, because I wasn't irritated with Lisa from Lisa doing so well. I was just irritated with myself, basically. And Val came to me and she was like, <laughs> basically, she was like, Jen, you're being a douche. Why are you being a douche? And I was like, I'm really not. And she was like, no, you are. So then, after a great discussion, I realized I was being a douche. And it wasn't nothing towards Lisa. It was just irritation of my own self. So to keep this 100% real with you guys, this is what I want to tell you guys today. Because um, last night, it was kind of like I had an epiphany. You know, and it was like, and like Val said last night, you know, we can't, I can't change the past. I can't go back this last year and redo it and, you know, be successful. I can't. Only thing I could do is wake up today with a whole new mindset. Am I going to say I'm not going to have setbacks along the way? Well, you guys know, obviously, it's, you know, there's setbacks along the, along this journey. What I can say is that... I have now reignited my flame into getting this done. This morning, I got up at 6.30, got ready, was at the track. When Lisa did her mile this morning, I stayed at the track for almost two hours. I did 5.57 miles this morning. I don't know. It just, um, I feel different. And I know it's only been a day, but I can tell you mentally, I think it's more mental than anything. You know, once you have your mind to it, you know, that is a big part of the battle. You know, because you have to have your mind mentally there or you're not going to get up in the morning. Or you're not going to, you know, try to eat right, you know. Yeah. So, basically, I just want to tell you guys that, you know, that yes, I had been slacking lately. But, the slacker is gone. Kick the bitch out. So, honestly. Can I tell you something? Yeah. Let me tell you my, because I was thinking about it today. When uh, this whole come up. And I was like, when was my turning point? Because I, just like the moment Jen had today, I had that moment as well. And would you like to know, when do you think my turning point was? Your turning the vlog. point? I can tell you the specific vlog. Oh, it was a vlog? Oh, it was a vlog. A lot of those. It wasn't that long ago. Which one? Lisa misbehaves in Home Depot. Okay. That vlog, I must have watched, half those views are mine. <laughs> because I appreciate I just, it. I just really... I like I don't I'm not gonna say I was in denial because I mean I was well aware of what I had working was working with, but um I just really didn't like what I saw, like I really just I just did not like it you know and <clears throat> that's when I told myself I was like you know what you are going to put yourself through the ringer it's gonna hurt you're gonna have to sacrifice there's gonna be times where you want something to eat that you're not you know really should have. And you're going to have to just push yourself away from it. You know, different choices in the whole nine yards. That was my moment. Yeah. That was my moment. Yep. Yeah. I, I can honestly say that that vlog is probably the one. And, like, you guys probably watched that and just, like, cracked up because I was being a dork. But that was the one where I watched it and I was just like, you know what? Nope. I'm done. 
hashtag I'm done. And that's that's where I was this morning. And that's what the moment you had this morning. That's well, actually I had it last night. Oh yeah, you know what last I mean? night. It's like after talking to Val and be like, you know what? I am so sick and tired of starting and stopping, starting and stopping, starting and stopping. You know what I saw on Instagram? What? I'm sick and tired of being a before pick. I and I saw that not that long after that vlog, and I was like, oh my god. That is that is it. That is the mentality I need to incorporate into my I daily life. I'm sick and tired of being, being a before, before pick. pick. I love this. Yeah. This is my new motto. <laughs> um, also, you want this so to side note. Sorry, I, I am sweaty, McSweaterson. <laughs> um, I saw this picture today, and it was yeah. like my goal weight is the weight I tell the DMV or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I've lied to them many years. <laughs> I've been 199 for like since high school. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, I, I feel better today. I've, I, it's a whole new mentality with me today. <coughs> um, and I just wanted to share it with you guys because you know what? I want to keep, I, I want to keep it as real as possible yep. with you guys. You know what you I mean? Been the entire and, life. and I've some days are not going to be, you know, Val being crazy. Some days are going to be like this where we're trying to be serious a little bit and be like, look it, you know, we understand it's a struggle. Hell, we're living it. You know what I mean? Every but day. But we know 110% that even though on the days and struggles, and even though when I've lost my mojo, I know back in my mind somewhere, this, I'm not giving up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this journey is continuing. Yeah. It's just now I'm going with the model as that I'm tired of being a before pick. Yeah. I want, you know, I go on Facebook and I see those transformations, you know, of... You know, the before and after pick or, or whatever it is. And it's just like, damn it, that I want that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, so today I was going around that track. And to go around once, like a mile 30, yeah. you know, right there. So around the third time around, ugh, my legs were killing me, you know. And it was just like, and I started playing this game with myself with, all right, Jen, you did good today. It's good for today, right? Like, you know. I know you said you were going to do... I'm talking to myself, by the way. I know you said you can do five miles a day, but, you know, three and a half miles, that's still good. That's over 5K. You're doing good. You're doing good. So then I see our mom, who's now driving around because she's looking for me because she's like, uh, where's Jen? Because I'm still going around and around and around. And um, I see her... Sorry. I see her, and then I was like, I'm going around one more time, is what I, I yelled at her. And then as I pass her, I'm thinking, no, I should just go back. I should just go back to the van and be done today because, because I did good so far. Yeah. And then I was like, and then she passed by and she was like, hey, I'm going to run to Meyer and get chicken for dinner tonight. So I'll just be back. And I was like, Which, by the way, smells amazing. And I was like, okay. And that, that was like, you know, upstairs saying, okay, keep it up. Keep it up. Don't give up now. Don't You've come this far. Believe it. What are you, like a karaoke I machine? just listened to music for the last hour and a half. Sorry. So that's what we want to talk to you about today, yes. Roadies. Is you know what, for the for the ones of you who have been here since the beginning, thank you for your support. For you new Roadies, thank you for your support. And let me tell you, the best is yet to come. I promise you that. Yes. Oh. I didn't come this far this time to turn around. If I turn around this time, Roadies, you have my permission to come find me in Michigan and just give me a swift kick. To no, the ass. she's not going to turn around. You know what? Even for these last these last few weeks, Lisa has been the one like the. The, okay, no, I'm not eating past seven, or you know, I'm, I'm gonna drink all my water today, or whatever it may be. And it was just like, okay, you know, whatever you want to do, I care less. And then it was like today, I was just like, boom, it like clicked, it like a lightning. You're like, don't boom. get me wrong, Val helps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Val, Val, Val definitely, um, Val, definitely helped. Val is Val, y'all know. <laughs> Val is Val. But no, Which, like, I, I love just... her though, you know, and, and I truly, truly and sometimes I needed you that need last that person night. in your life. To just give you that Keep swift real. kick, you know the swift kick that I was just telling you about. Like you just you needed it because I I you know I, I've gotten it, Jen's gotten it. I got we've it. We've given it to Val. I think it's kind of a sister thing. We've given it to Cindy. Cindy's given it to us. It's just like you know. Yeah. So. You gotta have the people in your life who are willing to tell you and like brave enough to tell you the truth. Yeah. And you gotta love them past it. That's how you know that like that's either a best friend or a family member when they can tell you the honest to God truth to your face, and you can still love them past it. Keep them, keep them around if they're a friend. Yeah, if they're definitely. family, you're stuck with them. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, and then you know what? Someone in the comment section below asked, what are we going to do now that we're so close to VidCon? Uh, because we've made it this so far excited. of vlogging every single day. And 
Um, you know, what are we going to do? Are we going to keep it going? Yes. We are not stopping. The only difference is after VidCon, it's going to be just day whatever. It's not going to be the D-U-V-U-V. It's just going to be another It's going to be yeah. day such and such. Yeah. We, I don't plan on stopping daily vlogs no time soon. And when we come back from VidCon, that's when Jen and I are going to have a meeting with each other because we want to revamp this whole situation. Production meeting. Production meeting, yes. Because there's things that we did in the past, for instance, Teleport Tuesdays, Market Mondays, Fitness Fridays. And right now, we're focused on VidCon. But when we come back from VidCon, and I have nothing else to focus on but this, we want to do a whole revamp. new situation. Somebody even mentioned about our, op you know, our, our theme music. Well, yeah. that, that was that, you know, that song kind that. of expired at Playlist. But don't worry, we're mm -hmm. working on something. We got a whole 10 hours on a plane, so we'll, yeah. we'll think of something real catchy. Don't sweat it. <laughs> All right, well, it's going to be it for the day, though. Yes. I mean, um, you know, we hope you had a wonderful day. How was your Monday today? Um, I did 5.57 miles. Lisa oh. did 5.67 miles. Yes. Well, I did over six because I did a mile this morning. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yes, you did. OC Power, Power Pop. Pop. Albert. Albert. I'm so horrible with names. I'm so sorry. You asked me in the comment section, we did five miles yesterday. Next Sunday, are we going to go for 5.5 or 6? Next Sunday... We're shooting for six. I think next Sunday we should go for 10K. 10K. Next Sunday, we're going for a 10K. Okay? That's our goal. That's that next Sunday's 10K Sunday. <sighs> All right, roadies. Say it with us. Today, Today I, I can, can do, do anything. anything. Say it, believe it, achieve it, roadies. Yes. You know what's funny is before I finish that is I've said that for the last so many days. And today, it's like, I, I, I used to say it, you know, like just to say it. And today, I don't know, it feels different. It's like... Okay, I am going to do anything today. Watch. Wait. I will not be a before pick Stay for two tuned. months longer. Stay to be continued. Okay? With that being said, it's going to be it for the day, Rodis. Hope you have a wonderful day. Guess we'll see you next. Manana!